Hi, so I'm making this video to show you guys how to make these really cool time lapse of your 3D prints with using just your iPhone. I'm sure you've seen it all over YouTube, these mesmerizing videos of 3D prints just kind of spring up out of the ground and just grow organically and they're kind of mesmerizing and you string them up together, they're, they make a really good video. That's this video right here. Um, so I looked up how you would do that and the solutions that people propose are they require a switch that the print head would go to per layer and so it would every time it makes a layer it, it hits the shutter button and it takes a picture and at the end of the day you have a, a lot of pictures and you use a movie editor to um, string those together into a time lapse, uh, which is a great solution. Um, the problem is that you require a DSLR, which are quite expensive. So I look for other solutions. Now, there is also this thing called Octolapse, which you can use Raspberry Pi cameras to do it. Problem with that is that they're not as high quality. Um, they they don't have as much resolution, and so. Um, I try to look for a solution that would, one, it doesn't require a DSLR because I don't want to invest on a DSLR, uh, two, that it's higher, way higher quality than the Raspberry Pi camera. So I think I found a solution here and I'm going to show it to you. So we are going to use like Octolabs, uh, all swell, uh, but we're, instead of using a Raspberry Pi camera, we're going to use our phone uh, to take a picture and we're not going to have any wiring or anything like that in order to do it um, because I think that's too much of a hassle. Also, it's like it requires messing with your printer uh, a little too much. Um, and I think you could just do it with with your phone and it's a lot easier and a lot easier to set up. Also, it's a much more repeatable solution because you just open up your app that you need, uh, as you'll see in a minute, open up the app on the iPhone and then you know, start doing it with the Octolabs, assuming that you have Octolabs uh, installed. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. Let's go over to my computer and let's go to the Octolabs settings and let's go over what app you need in order to do this. All right. Now go ahead and download this app on your iOS mobile device. You're going to need this to take snapshots of your 3D printer. So here's our Octolabs here. Now, if you don't know what Octoprint is and Octolabs, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube on how to install those. So before going in further into this tutorial, go ahead and install those first if you don't already have it. But as for people who do already have this Octoprint and Octolabs, um, then just you can just continue on. So we're just gonna add a new camera profile here. Uh, go ahead and add a profile name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine iPhone camera. Uh, I already have one but I'm going to do it again for you guys. You got to open up your iPhone app, the network camera snapshot, and paste that URL that you see along with an port of 80. Remove this and we'll put in take snapshot here. This is the most important part of this setup. And this part doesn't really matter that much. We'll just copy it over and put a live there. Uh, now one precaution here is to go to the general options in the uh, snapshot timeout. Mm -hmm. Increase that a little bit to give the iPhone more time to take the 4K snapshot. And lastly, we're just going to go to the rendering here and we're going to set that to disable. That way, it does, Octolabs doesn't actually render our snapshots we do it ourselves using a movie editor. This increases the quality because the Octolabs rendering system will lower your quality, so you don't want that. And that's it. So just go ahead and print something like you would normally do and let the ca camera take snapshots. Once it's done, you'll see it in video's image, save snapshots, you'll see a big zip file here, here and you can download it. Once you download it, you will see something like um, what I have got here and you'd have a ton of images and you're going to go ahead and string that together into a time-lapse in your movie editor. So 
If you don't know that, there's a ton of uh, tutorials out there. One in particular that I like to use is uh, this one right here. And yeah, and that's it. And that's it. You have your super awesome high quality time lapse of your 3D prints.